safety was placed first. Uh, the safety of our customers, the safety of our merchants, the safety of our community. Inside the highly anticipated new Black Wall Street Market in the Atlanta suburb of Stonecrest, Georgia, workers are putting on the finishing touches on the multi-million dollar renovation of the 125,000 square foot old Super Target building. The project is coming to life 100 years after the mass destruction of lives and property in the original Black Wall Street in Tulsa, Oklahoma. But the grand opening originally scheduled for Labor Day weekend has been pushed back to October 31st because of the rise in COVID cases in the area, says Allen Family Ventures spokesman Matt Hampton. So we knew that the responsible thing to do was to wait and to kind of push our plans back even though we're ready to get started. Following the announcement on August 24th, eager would-be shoppers expressed a bit of frustration with the delayed opening, including LaToya Irby Warren, who asked, can masks be required rather than changing the opening date? When asked if the new Black Wall Street market opening will see more delays if COVID cases continue to rise, Hampton was noncommittal, saying he hopes not, but public safety is the company's top concern. We also wanted to make sure that our merchants had time to get into their spaces, get their signage up, and make sure that we can give folks a first-class experience when they come here to the new Black Wall Street market. 22-year-old Trinity Ross is the owner of Trinity's Organics. She's one of the merchants who will be setting up shop when the building opens to the public. She says she's okay with the delayed opening in the name of safety. I'm all for taking extra safety precautions because... COVID has affected a lot of families over the past two years and anything that we can do to help the community to stay safe, it's not always about making money, you know, being safe comes first. Ross has been in business since 2018 and fared well during the pandemic, considering soap products that don't dry out your skin are in high demand. She participated in the pop-up shop event the new Black Wall Street Market hosted in May. Both pop-up shops events, I met thousands of people, um, have a lot of return customers because of it. So it's like, dang, if we were only out there for just a day, just imagine what it's going to be like operating seven days a week. So I'm super excited. Hampton says the building will have 118 retail spaces, 17 food and beverage spaces, a bakery, a gourmet grocery store, a gift shop, and an art gallery. Various parts of the building are named after prominent black figures, from Madam C.J. Walker to A.G. Gaston. And we, we hope that we know that through our awesome merchant community, we'll give people a real 360 experience where you can get great entertainment, great food, you can buy some great products, and you can be a part of this movement to really support black businesses in this country. The new Black Wall Street market is expected to be up and running by October 31st. Reporting for Atlanta Black Star, I'm Cavante Smalls.